Hi everybody, I am doing a 30 minute session for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance psychic wisdom and energy healing. These goals are all about angel numbers. I'm gonna read your goals here shortly. I just wanna thank you for the opportunity to connect with you today. And thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. We're gonna learn a lot from you. And for those who are interested in exploring a session with me, go visit my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, I'm going to read your goals and then we're going to get started. You say, Hi, Abby. I've been experiencing angel numbers in a big way, especially 11, 111, 44, 33, 55, 11, 33. So like 1133, 1144, <laughs> and 1155. Okay. Got it. So the one the ones, the fours, the threes, the fives, and then sequences of those. 1133, 1144, 1155. Okay. I have looked them up, but I would rather ask my angels directly what they are trying to say to me. Also, if there's any healing you can share from my physical heart today, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay. That is so cool. So you're getting these angel numbers and you're looking it up and you're going to go a step further, book a session with me and actually um, get a response from your angels directly. Thank you so much for that. Like that means a lot to me. I'm still uh, vibrationally tuning into your goals here. I just feel like there's a lot a lot of vibrational meaning that I'm absorbing right now. I don't know what any of it means yet. So what are your angels trying to say? And is there any healing? for your physical heart today, specifically your physical heart. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I gotta make sure I got my microphone on and everything's where it needs to be. All right, I'm gonna relax now. <sighs> okay, so. Still getting in the zone here. It's almost like my energy needs to come down a little bit more, so I'm getting further grounded. I have no idea yet anything, but I'm getting in the zone. Okay, that's part of the weirdness. <sighs> because I every time I go out to say angel guides. Angel guides, what would you like to tell my client here about these numbers that keep coming up? What are you trying to tell them? Every time I try to do this, it was like I get a weird chill down my back. I feel a little bit stuttery. I feel a little bit like not quite grounded. And so is it me or am I picking up on you? I'm not sure. But I finally got the, that out. I got that out. <laughs> That's the next thing. Okay, just hear me out on this. We're gonna explore this more deeply. You, you, there's no doubt about it. You're noticing the numbers, which means you value advice, wisdom, guidance from your angels. And yet, there vibrationally feels as though there's a gap between you and your angels. You also want me to feel healing for your physical heart. And there is an energetic gap. There is something about your physical heart, which it could be a heartache. So is it physical? Is it emotional? Is it memory? Um, but there is some kind of distance that is between you, your heart, your soul, your, you, the feeling of, I guess, full-fledged, um, you're wrapped up in, in the bouquet of, of love with your angels and it, you're just vibing with it, or is it just at a distance? It's like a comfortable and maybe even cold, but it's not that cold because I'm seeing these um, numbers and I know my angels are talking to me, but there still seems like there's this distance. And why does it have to be cold? Not because you're cruel. <laughs> it just feels cold. It feels like it could get a lot warmer in here. 
It feels like it could get a lot snugglier. <laughs> okay, so admit it. You want to feel like your angel guides are snuggling you. <laughs> it feels like snuggles and hugs and um, it feels like that. It feels like a warm blanket tucking you in at night. It, it's better than that. It's like snuggles. It's like cushy, warm, I can hear your heartbeat, I feel love, snuggles. It feels like I am loved, I am loved, I am cherished, snuggles. I even see Snuggle Bear. <laughs> I forgot about Snuggle Bear. Is Snuggle Bear still a thing? Didn't he used to talk like back in the day? There was like commercials and I think he had like this adorable light, like super high pitched voice. <laughs> I see Snuggle Bear too. Okay. Yeah. Is that your relationship with your angel guides or is that the message that they're trying to tell you with these numbers is some, so many questions unanswered is the next feeling I get. Which is all about the mind, you know what I mean? Which is a good thing. You're inquisitive. You're vibrationally, you're seeking, you're searching. Everything's adding up here. I mean, it all seems to be adding up, but yet it's not complete. It's incomplete. There is still this cold, strange gap. I want to feel closer with my angel guides. Um, I want to deeply know what they're saying. I want to feel warmth. I want to hear a heartbeat. I want to feel the snuggle. I want to feel snuggly. I want to feel loved by somebody. I want to feel in the arms of someone holding me and, and loving me. Again, I, I feel like there's a distance. I want to close this gap. We're still doing the math on this. We're still figuring this out. So the math, there's something about these numbers aren't just a sign. There's something about the math. It's not just about figuring out what the numbers are saying or what my angel guides are saying. It also is something about calculating and thinking about math. And making um, logical decision, making smart of the mind, um, intelligent, calculated decisions. And then we have that going on, cold, hard calculations <laughs> and snuggle bear. <laughs> so we have this world and then we have this world. And then where are the angel guides? They're like in the space in between, maybe they're in both worlds, but there seems to be this disconnect still. Okay. I wish it could just be so like, they're telling you this, done. <laughs> but we have to investigate, we have to figure this out. We have to experience the message. Yeah, okay, okay. That keeps coming up about your heart. Your heart is blocking the warmth this there's something warmer wanting to come forward and so I say okay why don't we work on healing your heart then then I can move this energy then we can see what's beyond what I'm picking up on thus far yeah and you're you're pretty vulnerable about this When I was a teenager, I, I was very sad, okay? I cried a lot. And I remember telling God, I, I said, um, I'd really like to not have to cry anymore. And even to this day, I'm almost 40 years old. Um, I don't enjoy crying. I don't, I don't want to live in a world where I feel inspired to even cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to feel this emotional stuff. I don't even feel like it's that important. Why is emotional stuff so important? It's, it's distracting. I could get lost in it. Um, there's a reason why I feel inspired to tell you this because I feel like um, 
that sensation of when I told God this memory, I'm like 14, and I tell God that I, I don't want to, cr- I'm tired of crying. And I mean, when you're that age, you're going through all kinds of emotional changes and you're trying to understand the world that you live in. And it's not just like an innocent world that you're, you're becoming, um, you, you're seeing more. You, you're, trans- you're going through a transformation. And I feel like about your heart that you, you need to don't hold yourself back and you need to have time to cry. It feels like this. And it, if you were crying or if you were trying not to cry, you could talk to God even. Because the whole concept of, well, who is God? Is God a man? Is God a woman? Is God both? Is what is God? Is some, like some cosmic being? Is it source? Is it, it, however you want to define it. But really, what is God is this, this, this concept of a, of a sense that you're always enveloped in, in it. A super cosmic mind, a super cosmic heart, a super cosmic body that hears every single word. Here's beneath the surface of your words. Here's what you're really trying to say. Here's what you're not saying. Here's what you're not being honest about. And loves you for everything that you are. And so when you open up to that energy, you you confess. You confess to God everything. And confesses. I'll be honest, God, this is how I really feel. I don't like hearing myself say that. So that's why I'm going to tell you, because I know you're not going to think less of me for saying that, but I even think less of myself for saying that. So there's something here about these angel numbers and an opportunity to really nurture your emotional self and... And open up to talking to God. This is like totally not. I'm not like this Christian selling a pamphlet or something. Like, and it's a free pamphlet. Like, I'm not doing that. This isn't a religion or anything. This is just a. This is literally give opening the spirit of who you are up to something that is a spirit that can handle it, that can handle this conversation, that can handle anything and everything you're going through. And and it's it's like exhale all of this exhale all of this and let god snuggle you okay let god hold you like get let god to be with you all the time when you're doing the dishes when you're driving your car when you're doing your laundry when you're taking a bath or shower like when you're making your dinner whenever you feel lonely whenever you just want someone to talk to whenever you don't know what to do like, we can't, as human beings, always just talk to each other completely openly. Like, everything is clear as day. We can't be blatantly honest with each other. Like, you know, these are these weird things that we have to deal with as human beings is how do we tell this person the truth? Or how do I, how do I acknowledge the truth that I don't want to admit to myself? Like, you can admit this. When you start learning how to have a conversation with God, you can start... You can admit everything and you can feel so comforted and at peace and not lonely. You can feel like um, the blanks are always filled in even if you don't have the answers. And this is part of this angel message. Is that you, this, is a, this is a task, okay? This is your to-do list. <laughs> Talk to God. <laughs> And confess to God five things that you wouldn't even want to hear yourself admit to yourself. And tell tell God some things and just and cry, okay? And feel feel the raw truth in this conversation. You don't have to speak out loud. You can speak inside yourself. I I honestly find speaking out loud, hearing myself actually talk into a voice recording. And then listening to my conversation with myself, which, you know, with God or my spirit guides or whatever, it is so crazy. It is so crazy that multidimensional ways that you can interpret um, yourself and grow as an extraordinary human being. Because when we cut ourselves off from ourselves, even, when we spend too much time with everybody else but ourselves, we don't know where we are anymore. 
We don't know where we're at with ourselves in our life. We don't know ourselves anymore because we're too influenced by everybody else but ourselves. And when you purely tune into God, you purely tuned into who you are, you're purely reconnecting with yourself. Because God is you. God is essentially you. You are everything. And when you have that kind of love, you, you, you just, you know that everything is going to be okay. Like, you know that you always have a sidekick, you know, you always have that energy. And part of life is in the excitement of self-discovery. It's part of the, the excitement of knowing genuinely who you are, being who you are, and getting to love and receive love. Just, that's literally what life is all about. It's not about going down the history books. It's not about um, all, all, all the ach great achievements um, and all the disappointments, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's about everything. Like it, it is about what you have accomplished because it takes a lot of yourself to accomplish things, right? It takes, it takes, um, the inability to love yourself, to be disappointed in yourself. So yes, it is about this, but it's about really being, it's like, really like the sponge that is soaking up the water. Like you're full you are full of all the magic that this life has to offer. It's not about what you want and what you didn't get. It's like there's certain levels of this conversation that um, really you are the absorber of everything. And then what do you want to do with the information? Feel present with you. Feel present with this, this God um, energy. Feel, feel this. So I feel the angel numbers are inspiring me to tell you this, okay? And your angel guides. And this need to heal your physical heart. This is, this is a task, okay? This is a job to do. You need to do this. And you seem to not want to cry. And I, I felt like, I, I remember I, I cried a lot when I was a teenager, and I remember telling God I didn't want to cry anymore. I did. I was like putting my foot down that I didn't want to cry anymore. And I remember just not wanting to cry anymore. And I, I kept crying, you know, and I couldn't force this crying thing to stop. Like I wanted it to stop. But I couldn't stop it because I had all these emotions, you know. And I think that that's kind of beautiful. I mean, we have emotions for a reason. If I saw a teenager that was trying really hard not to cry and they didn't want to cry anymore and they were struggling with being a teenager, like I would be like, wow, you represent a brave person. You represent a person who, who's trying to, you could say, be their, their strongest um, self, their, their best step forward, you know? And they've decided that crying is not that. But it, it is part of being that. It's part of being who you are. It's part of being natural. <laughs> it's like unnatural to not cry. I mean, we'd be robots. It, it's kind of weird that the world wants this AI reality. And maybe we all want to stop crying. Because that would then we wouldn't have to be human anymore. Because then we, we wouldn't cry anymore. And robots, you know, don't cry. <laughs> this is about emotions. This is about really feeling your heart connected to something of a profound love that deeply understands you. It's beyond snuggle bear. It's like straight up um, something so profoundly deep and so moving that it gives you life force energy. It resets your whole system. And you feel for once in your life, you know, in those deep moments, we feel like for once in my life, even if it's happened before, okay? But it's like, oh, finally, like for once, <laughs> somebody understands me. It's God, you know? <laughs> Here's a pamphlet. <laughs> There's no religion here. But this is my message for you, okay? This is, what, <laughs> this is what's coming to me. All right. This is true. This is true. Let's see how your physical heart feels from this conversation, okay? 
you're not you're not letting something you need to let something in here and you're just being stubborn about it you gotta let this in what is it that you need to let the sunshine okay that's simple we can work with that the sunshine Ha, ah, so I'm bringing warmth. Yes, because it was cold. Yes, I'm bringing warmth. And then I'm bringing sunshine. And it's simple, okay? This is simple. And I'm bringing this into your heart. And it feels like... Uh, you really... You, you can do this. I need to tell you something really important here. You can do this. It, you can do this. I see somebody who's really trying to be put together. Let's just say organized, clean, sleek, um, 100%. The best um, idea of who they can be and then to be that. That's like AI. That's like you becoming a robot. It's like, that's our idea of we got to have our, all our ducks in a row, everything in order, and we look fa fabulous. <laughs> fabulous all the time. Like, <laughs> never like a, a bit of imperfection. <laughs> it's like that, that moment where we. <laughs> I just keep seeing this picture too. I see this woman who's like flawlessly dressed, flawlessly like makeup and everything, but for some reason her lipstick's just a little bit off and she has no idea this is happening. And then I see this and it's like, you look amazing, but you don't know something that I do know. <laughs> Something's not quite perfect. And but it's just it's not in like this like haha. -ha. It's actually like I, I really understand this this feeling of being so put together and ravishing. And then something as weird as like my lipstick is off happens. Like why? You know? <laughs> oh crap, my my mascara is a little bit off. Like I'm supposed to be this like perfect vision you know and I'm not <laughs> even when I tried so hard okay or some other woman because this is like a woman's thing you know but I, I think anybody can do this like anybody falls into this bucket somewhere and uh, I see this picture come to me as well and and it's like this isn't you anyway <laughs> this this is a, this is a idea this is a good idea this is like this is respect. This is um, this, this, this is like the the pillar of society. This is the best of the best. This is the cream of the crop. This is like a five hundred dollar dinner at the fancy restaurant that that makes me want to cry because it tastes so good. Like, and that's every single day, morning till night, till morning till night. Everything in its order, but that that is like this is this is the math okay this is this what we're always trying to achieve here this is the math right um but that's not god <laughs> that there is not god it is like, that ain't natural <laughs> that ain't natural <laughs> i don't know why i gotta tell it to you like that and I, I feel like this, this hillbilly telling you, that ain't natural. <laughs> but AI is natural. AI is smart. It's put together. It's perfect. It's flawless. It does everything for me. It knows me. Like, <laughs> it's like, that ain't natural. That ain't God. This, this feeling real. Feeling real. Being a teenager struggling with crying and not wanting to cry anymore and just telling God, I don't want to cry anymore. And you just keep crying. It's just, that's real, you know? Snuggle Bear is not real. But but that warm embrace, that warm feeling, that, that just giving yourself to that warm feeling that just loves you so sensationally for every single thing about you. And you can talk to that energy any day, all day, all night, anytime, always there for you, never gets tired, never needs to eat, never um, has a bad day, okay? That's, that, that's natural. <laughs> that's God natural, okay? But that's not human natural. It, the, the human needs that, that needs that support. <sighs> they, I can't even, they, I can't achieve that because the AI can't be warm like the sun. The AI can't understand what it's like to make a mistake and feel shame about that. Beat themselves up over it. Because the goal is for them to not make a mistake and they don't feel 
any relationship with it one way or another. They just upgrade the programmer or whatever they want the robot to do better. But you're not a robot, you're a person. And making mistakes or um, wanting it to be flawless and it's not quite there and, and you realize it later. Like that, this is the stuff that builds the precious memories, that builds the human being, that makes us so wonderful. You need to be reminded of these things and to feel at the center, at the heart of these, these truths. Believe it or not, I feel that this might go against the grains to say this, but I feel that your angel guides would be telling you to stop doing the math for a little bit and just let yourself feel the snuggle. It's like the angel snuggling you. Spirit guides snuggling you, your ancestors snuggling you. It's not just about God, it's like soulmates snuggling you, the aliens that you, you love, <laughs> or you, maybe you don't love aliens, but it's like Mother Earth um, animal spirits um, hu hugging you. It's not like you, you have to be a, a mind that is robotically seeing this but not letting yourself feel it because it's the feelings that make you real feelings make you natural I still feel like there's this this aura, this like force feel, like um, the force is with you, but it's like this block and it, it's like all around you, like a bowling ball. And it's funny because I see like a hamster in a ball and, and then you're moving forward and this bowling ball rolls with you everywhere you go. And it just, it's like, I don't know, it helps you maybe contain, stay contained or stay maybe more robotic than human. Um, I think you should totally see. <laughs> I need to see myself in this way. This is actually really fun. I have not, not seen a human being in a hamster ball. I don't know if that's ever come up in a session, but I am seeing a full-size human being in a hamster ball. And it's not like a kid having a blast. This is just like mindlessly going about day to day in this intelligent way with a hamster ball. <laughs> protectively always there and then uh, I want to I want to see you go up and down some stairs and this. you seem to do it like it's no big deal but it, it's I, I'm even wanting to put myself in a hamster ball my guy's like Abby don't just don't go there right now <laughs> like I really want to try this but it, it seems to be um, not the healthiest energetic design for you okay it's like you you're contained you're in a container you're in a container and but it, it's like it, it's containing you emotionally but it's kind of like I keep thinking of AI I keep thinking of a robot versus human and what's the difference a human almost like wants to ascend into being a robot that, that ascend their own emotions or send what breaks them down as though that's a bad thing what breaks you down but builds you back stronger like but it's about love and there always is love. Always, 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 a billion times there's always love. And you need to hear that like a billion, a billion, a billion, a billion, a trillion. No wonder you keep seeing the angel numbers because this whole message is guiding you to this pinnacle statement that there always is love. And love isn't like cold calculations. It's like warm sunshine and it's simple. And if it makes you cry, then then you needed to. And that's something to celebrate because you are a human being. You have not ascended to the robot. I have not ascended to the robot yet. <laughs> I'm a human being. <laughs> yes, you can do that. You you can you can be silly too. <laughs> you can be in a <laughs> you have to you have you have to have some fun laughing about that hamster ball thing. I'm just seeing <laughs> you, you should see people in hands. I'm gonna have to start visualizing everybody in the world. 
<laughs> mindlessly in a hamster ball going from place to place. <laughs> it seems so funny. We need to get out of our hamster balls. We need to be more connected. All right, so angel guides, maybe one of you could step forward. Let's see what I, if you could help me get a sense of your presence so I could describe it for you because this is the angel numbers reminding you it's about love, it's about being human, it's about emotion. Um, talk to God, confess. You know, this is a task. Confess five things that you don't even want to hear yourself say. Confess that to God and then cry. And then it's like, get in the tub, go have like this moment with God. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel resurrected. You will definitely not be in a hamster ball after that. And you'll feel alive. So if one of your angel guides could come forward, that would be awesome. And... This one is way too, uh, it's like uh, somebody that would mean a lot to you that would be hard to look them in the eye. <sighs> so what they're going to do is they're going to um, be easier on the eyes. Usually that's like means good looking, but <laughs> apparently the easier on the eyes is it's like it's not going to make you feel emotionally vulnerable. There's something simple, a simpler way they're going to um, kind of alter their energy to kind of help introduce you a little bit more and more and more. I can't even see them. They're just like a blurry picture now. I'm going to keep looking. I think of um, this was a, like a toy that was super popular and it, it's like a guy's face is so basic. I mean, it's like a 99 cent toy. And it, it was like, uh, you, you, there was a ma magnetic like flakes and then there was this little plastic brush. And so it looks like this basic face and then you, you put the mustache on. <laughs> I don't know, where, did you put the eyebrows on too or just a mustache? But um, so this is what keeps coming to me is, um, it's a it's a silly toy and you move the magnetic stuff and you put a mustache on the face I, and I see another silly um, like operation you know that guy's face and then the buzzer goes on his nose and again I see just like really calm like simple kind of comical because it's um childlike um, it comes from your childhood memories um, it's kind of pleasing and pleasant but because this angel has known you since you were a child, like since the beginning, um, for you to fully remember the sound of this angel would be quite, you miss, you miss feeling close to this angel. Because this is the reason why I keep talking about adolescence, childlike energy, talking to God, all these things add up, right? We're doing the math here, but <laughs> this is in a meaningful way. And all these things add up um, to the overall message. But this angel is just very familiar and you could start to see what see this angel and interact with this angel by by just the operation head, okay? And just visualize there's an angel with a, that face, okay? Or put the mustache on the face and make it funny, you know? Like and I'm just going to watch for a minute. The longer that you look, the more you don't you, you want it to be real to you. It's, you're going to have to start, you're going to have to remember some f things from your childhood that were, um, just some things from your childhood that, this angel helped you through thick or thin. This angel was a sidekick for you and always still a sidekick and you would be able to, if you could go back in time and just observe your younger self, you would feel the presence of this angel so loudly and 
it's like time and age and everything you've been through created a, a bit of a disconnect. Not just a bit. I mean, I'll be straight up. It, this is way, way too meaningful for you to be honestly ready to see a, a very distinctive face. Because you're the one saying that you don't want to be emotional and you don't want to cry. This is going to even create almost like that, that agonizing screaming sound, like an agony wail, you know, and tears just like torrential downpour and the gut aches because this is an emotional old thing and it's you and it's genuine you and it's your inner child and it's, it's really your, your incredible human story, okay? And this angel represents, I've never left you. <laughs> I've always been there for you. I've always loved you. Very masculine energy. Seems like if you, it's not just the numbers. This angel tries to get your attention because really loves you to, really loves to hear the sound of your heart when you feel kind of mesmerized and in a meaningful place. And this, this angel tries to get your attention in other ways, like um, with a specific word, like maybe you'll look at a billboard and the one word you see is smile, but you might just recognize it for a second and maybe dismiss it or something. Or um, tries to get your, your, um, tries to get you to remember something from your past that makes you happy. Uh, it's like, um, could... It even it could be a word that makes you think of something positive. Like it's, it's always trying to get you to to be alive in your emotions. But there's also emotions that need to be mended. But this conversation alone is already guiding you in, in a direction of, of being alive in the feelings of who you are and the humanness of who you are and your connection with the spirit realm. Because it really feels like... You know, we're talking about God, we're talking about angels, and we're talking about, like, the hug from your ancestors and your animal spirits and all that good stuff. Like, that you're never alone, right? We're talking about healing you along your timeline, getting your attention with the, the simple things, not just, like, repetitive numbers, but that it seems like um, a, a, a simple look at something that get even if it sparks it for just a simple second, like a brief second, you might not even be consciously um, acknowledging it fully. That That is also, um, this angel is planning these um, little bits along the way. Would you be able to, to take your homework assignment a step further? Because when, when you kind of open up to God, God's like this, like, everybody person. Like, God is all things, you know. But this angel is a specific person, you know. So as you open up to God, could you be, this would feel a lot more vulnerable. That's how I experience it. This feels a lot more vulnerable because you're a bit unsure. You're kind of uncertain, but you want to acknowledge him. And you want to thank him. And I see that you're not able to confess it all, okay? But you could do that with God, which you need to be doing that. But you can learn how to, to open up to this angel more. And this angel is going to be there no, whether you open up or not. Um, but I feel like it would be very healing for your heart as well. And... Everything is just very peaceful right now. I've said all I need to say. <laughs> I, I uh, really appreciate this. Thank you for opening up to this experience with me. Thank you for sharing with us. I couldn't have this experience today if it were not for you. So thank you for sharing this experience with me and then giving everybody an opportunity to um, feel reached today as well. So... I hope um, you all have a wonderful day. Again, if any of you are interested in booking a session with me, you can go to my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com.
Thank you all. Have a great day.